Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns for May 2020. This is going to be a what they aren't saying forecast. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. We're going to get super specific uh, in this reading. We're going to look at some characteristics this person may have their zodiac sign, whether it's their sun, moon, rising or Venus. We're also going to look at a deeper look in regards to what they really want to say to you. And we're going to pull some cards as well. So stay tuned if you're interested in that. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe um, so that you don't miss any of my messages in the future. And also make sure you like the like button or smash the like button so that you can show support here. It's free. All right. It's a free way of supporting. Um, and it definitely gets the, the readings out to people who need to see it as well. So Thank you if you do like the video and let's go ahead and get straight into it, okay? Um, if you're also looking for a personal reading with me because you feel like I'm so accurate and you need some guidance, please feel free to book with me. My information will be listed below. You also can receive 20% off by joining our emailing list or taking our Zodiac quiz. So test yourself, see how much you know the Zodiac sign of Capricorn. I have everything linked in the description and let's get into it. Okay, so what is my Capricorn's love interest or the person that they're thinking about when viewing this video? What are they not saying or what is it that they do wanna say but they haven't had a chance to say to my Capricorns for May 2020? What are they not saying? What are they not saying to my Capricorns for me, 2020? Okay. Take a sip of water. Okay. So what we have here, we have the nine of pentacles in reverse. Strength card. We have the ten of pentacles. We have the king of swords. Page of cups in reverse. Page of swords in reverse. The ten of swords and the seven of wands. And we also have the thinking man. And we also have the hostilities card. Okay. So what this person is not saying, Capricorns, they really don't want to be single from you. For some of you, you guys being single from each other is like very agonizing. All right. Especially if this is a Leo specifically. And I am seeing um, some air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, and a little water energy, but mainly Leo and some air right now at this moment. Okay. This person does not want to be apart from you. They're really trying to stay focused in other areas of their life, but they're very determined to be with you. OK, strength card, ten of pentacles, like very determined to get past this roadblock. Um, this individual does see that you do have your guards up hostilities here, um, but they're willing to communicate and break that barrier down. Um, but for some of you, you will be like trying to turn this individual down for some reason, or they believe that, uh, is the case. So they may be having a hard time coming forward as fast, especially if you're not speaking to them still, uh, this person just does not want to be apart from you. The nine of pentacles upright is like independence, being able to be on your own, stand on your own. This is them not wanting to. OK, so this person really wants to be in your life. Um, I get a sense as well. Yeah, they don't want to get turned down if they put themselves out there. They feel like you guys have gone through a lot. Yes, but it's something that you guys can overcome. But they yeah, they're trying to figure out how they can get you to not be so defensive if they come forward because they, they want to take action. They do. All right. And the cards are just pointing to that blatantly. If this is someone new who you're dealing with, um, what they aren't saying is the fact that they may be struggling with getting off of the fact that they were single for so long. If this is somebody who hasn't dated in a while, 
that they're struggling in that arena of like coming out of that space of being so independent. Um, I feel like this person is trying. So allow them some time to actually be more open to to the connection because this person may be coming off kind of cold and distant. But it's because of the fact that they've gone through very rough situations where there's like betrayal and just feeling very defeated and feeling like the odds are against them. So this individual just they they may need some time to shift out of this. Um, another thing I am seeing as well, if you are somebody who's dealing with an ex, well, no, we already talked about an ex. We talked about a new person. This is somebody who you're dating now. They don't want to be apart from you either. If you're still in a relationship with this individual, they don't want to be apart from you and no means necessary. Um, this person, what they're not saying is they're willing to stick it through, even though they may come off defensive themselves, they are, are still wanting this. Um, it's just a matter of them needing to work on their emotions. Like this person may have some other things that they're not too fond of. And then they also feel like in a sense, there's certain things that they don't like in the relationship that still need to be worked on. So if there is any things that your partner has pointed out to you and was like, okay, well, I think we need to have sex more, or I think that we need to work on our communication or whatever it may be. This person feels like that really needs to be worked on. But other than that, like you guys can fix it and move forward. All right, so let's look a little bit into who this individual is. What are some of the characteristics of this individual that my Capricorns may be dealing with? Okay. And then what are some of the things, some further messages in regards to what this individual may not be saying? Okay. Okay. Alrighty, so this may be a Scorpio. So this person, if it's not a Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus, this may be somebody who's a little secretive, um, somebody who you can't really pinpoint in regards to certain things. Um, this person may be the type that also is very calculated in their moves at times, um, more calculated than people really assume um, or think. We have Libra. So this may be somebody who is a little indecisive at times. Um, this person may be trying to keep the balance as well in regards to the relationship. So sometimes they may kind of back down when it comes to arguments and issues because they don't want to fight and go through all of that. Um, okay, what else do we have here? Hazel eyes. So this person may have hazel eyes or just lighter eyes here. Um, we have trust issues. So like I said, there's some trust issues here. This person may be acting defensive because of that and having a hard time letting that go. We have muscular. So if this is a male, this may be somebody who's built, um, you know, a lot more bulkier than usual. This may be somebody who works out as well um, and cares about their physique. All right. We have blue eyes. So this individual could have blue eyes or just really light colored eyes here. And we have introverts. So this may be somebody who likes to keep to themselves, likes to, you know, keep their private life private. They don't like to have people meddling in, in their business. Okay. Now let's see some exclusive messages and what they really want to say or what they need to say or what they aren't saying. So we have, trust me, I won't hurt you. So this person, if they know you have trust issues, they also want you to understand that, look, I'm not going to hurt you again. If I have put you through something prior to this, um, you know, I, I understand and I want to fix things. Um, this person also understands that if you guys are moving forward or when I say you guys, you personally, if you've dealt with a tumultuous relationship before this person, they want you to know that they're not going to try to hurt you. Okay. Um, what else we have? I'm willing to try if you are. So yeah, if you guys broke up with this individual and things are not, you know, peachy keen, they're willing to still try. They're willing to see where things could go. Um, we have, can we talk like now? So yeah, they want to speak. <laughs> they definitely want to speak. Um, I have, I love you. So this person still cares about you. This individual still loves you. And we have the third party is gone. So yeah, if there was definitely an extra party 
affecting this relationship at some point, it's no longer there. I feel like this person is realizing that it's not even worth it. Um, and they really just want to take action towards you. Now, what you decide to do with that is going to be your choice. But this is what I'm seeing. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up, smash that like button. Okay, it helps get this video out in the algorithm. And so you can see my videos in the future. Um, hit that notification bell, subscribe, um, go ahead and book your readings. My information will be listed below and you can get 20% off your first reading by joining our emailing list. Or like I said, taking our quiz. Enjoy that and everything you need will be below and I will see you in the next one.